Hey guys, I'm Marie Ray and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 Adventure Sim Challenge. Now, if this place looks horrible and familiar, then you probably watched my last speed build video where I said I was moving Lucas to land because I was trying to see if it would help with some of the lag. This house looks absolutely terrible, but I was building it with the intention of upgrading a lot of it much later. And when I built it, I was holding off specifically on using up all of the money she had available to her at the time because I I didn't want to ha not have money to travel anymore so I want her to still be able to travel because that's where she got a lot of revenue and income from in the first place and it's kind of weird so what I did was that I built the house on a previous save or a save that I already had that was right left off where we left off here and then I put the house in my library and then I placed it in my newest save or my most active save and when I did that and I moved her here she actually ended up with more money than she did when I did all this last time so I'm probably going to change out a few things I think I'm going to get her an actual boat instead of this watercraft the only reason I didn't is because I didn't want to spend all her money but somehow weirdness happened where placing the very same house on the very same lot in a different save turned out to be cheaper than the way I did it before I have no idea but I did say last time too that Lucas was gonna get a makeover and she did so she's cut her hair new house new look she cut her hair and she got some new pants pretty much I left her little jacket on because I think it looks cool I like her jacket and she's got just like a white t-shirt and these new pants she's a pretty simple person she likes to adventure so she needs a cool outfit she's super starving because as soon as I started up the game where we left off she was asleep in the bed and I just woke her up and she's super hungry so she's gonna go in the house and she's gonna eat she apparently has really bad food but uh, that doesn't matter she can serve breakfast uh... hmm waffles that's weird because I should have a mod that prevents me from like making stuff when I don't have the ingredients for it so that's a bit weird I don't know if something's going on here my game though recently has been kind of buggy in general so I don't know what that's all about but I'm hoping that I fixed a lot of my problems but she's gonna go ahead and cook oh snap she has to go to work so forget cooking I'm sorry you can eat stuff oh yeah wait 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 before we go I did this too because I didn't actually sell any of the materials she had in this chest so I just put the chest in her family inventory right before she moved and we have to put all of our crap back in there because I took it all out so that when I moved, I, I don't I didn't know if this would like glitch out or anything and because these things lost their value. I swear they had a value before, but they don't anymore. So I just moved everything out to make sure that nothing was losing its value when I moved. Everything should be cool now. So let's put everything back. We're gonna make this house sparkle and shine. It's just gonna take us a while, you know? I'm playing this playing this legit, 100% legit. So I don't wanna give her money when she didn't earn it. Though it is, like I said, bizarre that she ended up with more money in this case, because last time I did this, I pretty much like uh, just did the same thing. I put this in her inventory because I didn't want to sell any of that, so I didn't. And then I moved her to another lot and I ended up um, what's all these tiny space? You know, just put them in there. And I ended up moving her, moving to the other lot empty, and then I built on the lot. And then I, after I finished the build and I was down to like four thousand dollars left, I went on ahead and saved the lot to my library, and then came back to this save, my most up to date save, and um, did the same thing. So I put that in my inventory. I moved her over to this lot, and oh wait, I was gonna get her an actual boat too. Hold on, I'm sorry. Please hold. Please hold. No, no, not there. Put it, yeah, throw it in the garbage or sell it or whatever the heck you do with that. So let's get her an actual boat since she apparently has a little extra spending money. See, that drained her cash down to probably roughly about where it was before. Um, also, I forgot about her bike, so we're just going to get her another bike. She doesn't really need like a car. She just needs to make sure she, what's this? Oh, it's one of my uh, scooters, little scooter. You know what? That's cool. She can, she can she can use that that's gonna be her transportation on land and here's her transportation on water for now we'll just leave all these colors if you didn't notice when i built this i literally slapped all this crap in there and was like that's fine because i have all the intentions in the world of a hundred percent pretty much changing almost all, everything in this house at some point when she starts gaining way more cash i plan on doing that oh my god this moves really slow though maybe the jet ski would be better She's just like slowly sailing to work. I'm sailing away. 
We're just gonna speed up things. Hopefully she makes it to work on time. I mean, this little sailboat's neat, but it takes her a second to get places. She'll probably be fine, I hope. There we go. I think she's working here today. Alright, so we're back on the scene as another lifeguard day. I forgot she worked today. I don't know what that was all about for me. Let's see. What can she eat? She can eat these apples. Like, stop running around for a second like a psycho. Eat this apple. Uh, let's see. She's got... Oh, uh, you can eat one more. Let's eat one more apple. Eat another apple. Then, like, I don't know. Come up here. There's nobody on the beach like normal. So I think we're just gonna, like, chillax and read a book or something. Like we always do. Because why wouldn't we? So, like, sit down and just read... Read a logic book, because I think we've learned all we can from this charisma book. We did. So she's just going to read a logic book. I'm going to sit here and survey the beach. We're going to fast forward through the day, and we'll see if anything interesting happens. Be right back, guys. At the end of the day, uh, she successfully saved like about three people out of the water. She's dead tired, so she's gonna go home and go to sleep for the day. Very uneventful day. Check out that yarn. That's the perfect face, you guys. I think we found our, our picture, our image for this episode. Look at that face. That's the perfect face. Let's just zoom in. Get a get a get a close up on that. See, look at that. Let, let, let's just get a look at the picture of that face. There we go. That's awesome. That's the perfect image for for this this episode. Just the yawning face. Okay. So we finished the day. We're gonna go ahead and go home. She's gonna go to sleep. Uh, we have to call Rajan. I forgot about that. Like, you know, he's, he's our friend and we don't talk to him enough. So we're gonna give him a call and see what he's up to another time because she's gonna pass the heck out. So everything was going fine that day. A pretty typical day at work except for the fact that she almost peed herself. She had to pee like really, really badly. There's also that one chick who was like dying or said she needed CPR and then got up and walked away to go to the bathroom so I guess she was fine but whatever we're gonna go home she's gonna sleep for the day very uneventful day but it should get better really fast we have tomorrow off so we are probably gonna go diving let's see if we can find some squid because I kind of want to know what comes of this whole mission that we have going on here so we'll call Rajan and see what's going on with these squids and if we can find any tomorrow. And if we can't, I think we're going to start preparing to travel again overseas. So she's going to sleep through the night and uh, I'll be back in the morning, guys. So be right back. Okay, guys. So middle of the night, first night here in our brand new house and a burglar sneaking in to steal what little crap we have to our name. Like this happened last time. Like we don't... We don't have anything worth stealing, so I really don't know why they're here. But she's waking up. There's a burglar here. She's brave, so I do believe she's going to try to fight said burglar. We'll see how this all turns out. It looks like they're probably going to go to a better place to fight. I have no idea. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So let's see who's going to win this fight. Last time a burglar came, we lost, but it looks like she's got him in a headlock. I think she's got this. Go, Lucas, girl. Go, 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 go. Go, girl. Get him. Get him. Get him! She did it! She did it! She defeated the burglar and she got her down, Nevada Alazar. I will remember who you are, Nevada Alazar. She's still dead tired. Like, didn't we just wake up from partially going to sleep? Like, what the heck? Did, did none of that, that count at all for any of our sleep? I see you, girl. I know who you are. But she's, like, really sleepy, super, super dirty, and extra hungry again. Like... I don't know what that's all about, but let's just make her go back to sleep. Like, I swear, we had some sleep going on before this whole thing happened. Does fighting a burglar somehow instantaneously make you sleepy and dirty and and hungry? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. But she's going back to sleep. She defeated a burglar. We were not getting robbed a second time. She was not taking our toilet and stuff again. But she's going back to bed. She'll be back up in the morning, and I will see you guys then. 
Okay, you guys, good morning. I'm gonna go ahead and wake her up right now. It's already like 10.30. She's was super tired because of everything that happened. She's gonna go ahead and jump in the shower. And once she got out of the shower, I think we are gonna go eat at the restaurant that we get to eat at for free. Because I don't really feel like making her cook right now. Oh yeah, we get like $50. Only $50 from this place? Jeez, really? That's a terrible, terrible amount. But we get to eat here for free. So that's the only perk and we're going to take advantage of it. She's going to eat there and then we're going to go back and scuba dive to see if we can find anything good at this place. We need squid. And then I think we're going to call up our friend Rajan and go talk to Rajan for a while because we need to make sure we get our friendships up so she can continue to increase in the charisma skill. We only have one friend and I don't even think he's considered our friend anymore. Well, he's a distant, distant friend, but a friend. So we're going to make sure that she keeps in touch with Rajan and um, they stay friends. And she gets more friends as we progress because I don't want that to fall off. Let's, you know what? I said I was going to save this and maybe try to get the like, the, the never aged potion thing or something like that. But maybe we should get the, the, the long distance friend thing first because that stops her friends from decaying. Where is it? Uh, here. Long distance friend. Friends will never become distant friends even if you ignore them for a while. Uh, they know you're good for it and they don't that down the line. So we're gonna get that. Go ahead and get that. So when we make friends with Rajan again, we will never lose his friendship. And that should help her keep her charisma skill because she won't have to really actually talk to her friends. Wait, she still has her bike? Where did this bike come from? I thought that I got you a scooter. Whatever. Well, maybe that bu that scooter is a bike. I, d I don't know. That's weird. She wants to go back to France, though, and so do I. So I think that we will start preparing to go back to France again for visit number two. Um, we'll talk to Rajan. Maybe we should maybe we should call him first. After she gets out of here, let's let's give him a call and see if we can get him back on our friend radar. And then if hopefully he'll become a friend, we'll finish that mission. We can promise her this one because I don't want to. I don't want to click anything off. Well, this is like the least worth of anything. So let's see. Hopefully it won't disappear by the time she gets out of here. Hopefully Rajan will answer and he'll talk. And if he, if he doesn't have time to talk, then we'll just get rid of that wish. She'll still become his friend again. But, you know, we just... I just want to make sure that I'm keeping the biggest promises to her. There we go. We're friends with Rajan again. It just took one phone call. He just needed to hear from us again, make sure we were all still cool and we still go to the gym where he gets that workout going. We're gonna go scuba dive though. We're gonna talk to Rajan about how his life's going. He's engaged to Henny. He's a wannabe handyman, a Gemini. You know, we'll ask him all those good questions that she knows all about him. Talk a little bit faster, girl. Wrap this conversation up. Tell him you got stuff to do and hang up the phone. This, this was not supposed to be a three-hour call. There you go. So she's now friends with Rajan again. She still has that one friendship. We need to make some more friends. We'll probably end up making some more as we go. But for now, Rajan is, is good enough. He gave me all my social skills back up. I think we're going to try to make friends with like a mermaid and stuff though. Because she really likes supernaturals. That's a, one of her traits. And I think the only supernaturals that are in Isla Paradiso is, is the mermaid. The mermaids, you know? Because, I mean, she considered the time traveler like a, 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 a supernatural, but I don't, I don't agree with that. Oh my god, this boat moves really slow. I think we need to invest in getting you a speedboat, girly. Because, jeez, this boat is slow. But I think, I think that what we're going to do, she's got, she's got to work tomorrow. So I think we're going to stay here, she'll go to work tomorrow, and then we're going to prepare to travel again on the next day like we did last time so that when she comes back she has the day off maybe we can take a longer vacation this time that would actually be nice and she should be able to i think we got visa level one last time we were out there let me double check i don't know how to double check that though there should be like a travel journal somewhere here we go travel journal adventure she has not gone to china or egypt but she went to france she sites excavated, most valuable, oldest object found. Challenge historical hoarder. Historical hoarder has collected 20 relics of each culture. Relics discovered by historical hoarders are 50% more valuable. I thought this said less valuable for a second. So 
she's found a couple of these relic connoisseur relic collection connoisseurs i'm sorry i'm reading all this i've never read this stuff i like i i never pay attention to any of this stuff they have completed six relic collections relic collection connoisseurs gained 50 percent more mood increases from wondrous collection movelet dude really interesting so okay so these are the two that she has i've never like seen this ui interface at all like i never look at this so there's a lot into this one and some into that one about china i have none about egypt I have no oh my gosh she's almost at level three nearly almost level three no she's 86 percent to leave visa level two so she should be able to stay a little bit longer in france which should be nice so She'll go back and have a little bit more time to explore. So we are on the hunt though right now. For, is this a squid? Is this a squid? Tell me that's a squid. Is this a squid? It looks like a squid. Oh my god, girl. Really? Piss yourself later. I, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Piss yourself later. There's a shark. I get it. But there's a squid there too, which is also way more intriguing to me right now. So go, go, get, go, get, go get the squid. Please and thank you. Go, brave the shark, you'll be fine. I promise, kind of, maybe. Don't die. She did catch a squid. We caught squid number one. I've been looking for you guys for like ages, it feels like. The only downside to traveling is that I'll have to fix the caves and everything back again because apparently whenever I do go through these uh, caves where I travel and leave this world, everything resets, which sucks donkey butt, but what we're gonna do about it, right? Just gotta deal with what we gotta deal with. Roll with the punches here. She's gotta keep getting up this skill too because I'm pretty sure there are more goodies to be found that that I have to find just strictly by diving. And I'm also 100% certain that one of these islands has to be unlocked via diving. Like there's no way that they added diving with this expansion pack and didn't actually connect it to unlocking the island. So I know for 100% that there's, there's nothing else here to collect. All right, well, I guess we can go in the cave. Let's go swim in the cave then. There's nothing else around here but sharks and death, so. Oh, wait, 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 what's this thingy? Is this, a, this is not a squid though. This is like an octopus, I think. Eight legs? Eight, do you have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Wait, huh? Oh, eight, yes, eight, there we go. <laughs> that is definitely an octopi. Let's collect this starfish. We're just gonna keep grabbing a bunch of stuff, like we always do when we go diving and hopefully her level, well her level has increased, but we didn't learn anything new, so. There's more dive lots that we have not yet gone to either. There's one I'm pretty sure it probably, Ray what? Ray Matsuri. Okay. Hello, Ray. Hello, Ray. You stay over there. She's gonna hang out here collecting her stuff. She found an octopi and a sea bat, bar, uh, sea bat starfish. Yeah, you peed yourself too? What? Why? She doesn't even know that dude and apparently she can like try for a baby with him. Random dude, let's go totally have a baby. We have a baby with the random dude. That's not what's gonna happen though, by the way. I'm just goofing off. Not gonna happen. Collect. That, those guys are like super rare and super, super good with moolah moolah. They give me so much money, eh? It's ridiculous. Oh my God, this guy's getting eaten by a shark. Holy crap. I think she reset, which sucks, but that guy got eaten by a shark. She did reset. Wait, is this Ray? No, it's not. But she reset, which sucks donkey butt, because we have to, I guess I have to go reset the caves again. I thought I fixed them, but apparently I didn't. But that guy, that guy was like getting eaten by a shark. I don't know if I should be worried. I might have saved his life by resetting the game accidentally. But wow, like that, the dude was getting eaten. We can summon the mermaid, it said. I saw when I clicked on her, it said summon the mermaid. Signal mermaid. Maybe we should signal this guy and talk to him. Like, she needs another friend, or she wants another friend. So, I mean, but where are we? We're just hanging out on random island number one. Is this the guy who was getting attacked? Yeah, it was. Are you okay? I'm sorry, this is a girl. Are you okay? You were, like, getting eaten by a shark. Whatever. You're alive, I suppose. What's this? 
I don't know what that is, but I don't really want to collect it right now. Probably something that I have. So let's go. You know what? Let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. One, she can meet people there. And two, she wants an athletic skill. Uh, let's see the time. Um, it's nine o'clock. She's kind of tired. I have to reset all the caves again. So uh, you know what? It's a good thing, I guess, because we, we were just planning on going back to France. And if I had to do it every time I come back anyway, she does still ride this bike. Like, was it in your inventory? Because I thought I sold it with the house, but maybe I didn't. Well, you have a scooter, which I think is a little bit faster than all this, but, uh, whatever. What are you doing, dude? Guillermo. Guillermo. Uh, what? She waved at the guy, and apparently they're like, hey, how's it going? All right, well, calm that down just a little bit, girl. Cool your jets. Why don't you go for a run and see if you can increase your athletic skill? Which you're really close to doing, so hopefully we hear that that wonderful chime. There we go. We're actually gonna stop running though. She can now train people? Cool. So can she like go start yelling at this guy to train him? Nah, she can't. She's gonna head home though, she's tired. And she can't really talk to a celebrity and I don't really care to try to impress a celebrity right now. So we're just gonna head straight on home. Once again, I kind of kept you out late. And your boat's pretty slow, so... I apologize for that, too. I thought the boat would be faster than the jet ski, but I could be totes wrong. And I'm thinking I am, because I think the jet ski is faster. But the boat looks cooler. So... I mean, she can sail, and I believe she can actually stop in this boat and, like, go fish somewhere. So we'll probably have to go do that and do that let's see like let me click this and make this her preferred vehicle i didn't notice that she must have had her bike in like her inventory so let's put this one in her inventory and put the bike there she can keep the bike like i don't care but we're gonna put that in her inventory she's gonna go oops not make up the bed didn't mean to do that she's gonna go to sleep though she is gonna get that nappy nap time in we got one squid out of the however many we need to get I don't want to accidentally sell it because what I plan on doing is... Oh my god, these are worth $500? I'm tempted to never give you these squid and keep them for myself. But she's going to sleep for the night. We're going to get up tomorrow. She's going to go to work for one more day. And then we're going to start preparing to travel to France for the second time. Go through as many more tombs as we can. Hopefully with a little bit longer time we can do some more of that. So she's going to sleep through the night and I will be right back. Okay, you guys. Good morning. Lucas is awake. She's up and at him. She wants to cook a meal, so we'll go ahead and let her cook. And she's got to go to work in probably about another hour or two. Yeah, she's got two hours left. So she's going to go ahead and try to slam together some waffles and choke them down as fast as she can so that she can get to work on time. And then I think we're going to go sell the fish that we have in our inventory. Should We should have a nice little pretty penny worth of stuff going on here. This guy's worth like $400. And I don't even know how much the rest of this are, but we got two of these eels and they're worth like $800 a piece. So she should have a pretty penny going on there. And if we're lucky, I can start upgrading this house faster than I want to. So like originally I was expecting to have to wait to upgrade the house like for, I don't even know how long. But hopefully if we're lucky, I can start upgrading her house faster than I expected to. Those are really crappy, horrible waffles, Lucas. So you're just gonna kind of leave them there and you're gonna go go to work. She should be fine. We're gonna head on out and she's gonna go to work. Look at all these newspapers. This is why I despise you, newspaper girl. Like I, I thought I meant to, I thought I canceled my newspaper. When I move, does it automatically start back up? I'm gonna have to cancel it again because I don't wanna deal with her. She's, the newspaper is annoying. But whatever, for now, it's doable, I suppose. She's gonna head off to work. Then we are gonna prepare to travel back to France. As soon as she gets there. I mean, she takes her three hours just to get to work. By the time she gets there, people are gonna be drowning. Which, I mean, wouldn't be a bad thing. She needs to save people, so. Why is that your bathing suit? Why? You couldn't find anything else better to swim in? Whatever. I mean, whatever floats your boat, lady. You do whatever floats your boat. You know what? You know what? Go fish or something. Like, you're just hanging out here. Go fish. Until somebody starts to drown, you can go fishing. 
she's just gonna cast off and start fishing. She needs to gain her fishing skills so that we can collect all the fish from other countries. That's our, oh, there's somebody drowning now. So we're gonna go do this and like normal, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the day and uh, I'll stop it if anything interesting happens. So I'll be right back guys. her work day a very uneventful day once again except for the one chick who started to drown and then had to leave so then she accused me of never wanting to save her because she had to go somewhere she was too busy to drown correctly so i mean whatever that's fine lucas did her job for the day she's gonna go to the bathroom really quickly and then we're gonna head home because she's stinky and smelly she's gonna head to bed and we're gonna start preparing to go to france for the next time Okay, so she's back home. I kind of sped through that traveling just a bit because it's kind of boring to watch her go around in this boat all day. She's gonna jump in the shower. We're gonna head off to bed, but I think what I'm gonna do, because it uh, doesn't seem like anything else big is probably gonna happen. So, what's this? Earn a raise. Well, sure, whenever you get a promotion. Oh man, I shouldn't have. She almost has a promotion. You know, if she works out just a little bit, she'd probably get a promotion right now. If she did, like, exercise for five seconds. What the world was that? I think it was the sound of a boat going past, but wow, okay. We're gonna fast forward, and since she's this close to getting her, her promotion, I think what we're gonna do is that in the morning, we are going to get up and... Let's see... Let me see here. We're gonna get up and go over to the diner. And she's gonna eat. And then after she eats, we're gonna go over to the gym and see if we can boost up her, her job just one more time. And then we're gonna head off to France. So I'm gonna sleep through the night and I will be right back. Okay guys, good morning. I woke her up just a bit early again because we're gonna try to see if we can go ahead and get this raise and earn this thing uh let's see she wants lifeguard career she's only level five so she can't get to level eight but we probably can actually go ahead and get her up in her one career level before we start our plans to move on to france for a while she's gonna go ahead and take her little rowboat or sailboat or whatever the heck this thing is over to the next island she's gonna grab a bite to eat and then i think we're gonna make her go to the she might be able to just jog around for a little bit though I mean, that works, right? Let's see. Let's let's go and eat dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever she's eating. What? Oh my god. Really? Well, apparently this scooter is a big no-no. Did you guys see that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that was highly amusing. We're just going to sell that without any other questions asked there and let's go find her bike and put that in her inventory oh my great jesus me oh god that was <laughs> that was amusing oh i know we were gonna sell uh sell all of our stuff to you i'm sorry that that was probably entertained to me more than it should have so i'm that that was that was weird but we're gonna go sell all that stuff and then uh Go to the gym and we're wasting away our day. We're supposed to be trying to go... You know what? She could probably get the athletic skill in another country or when she goes off. But I don't know if it counts towards her job if she's not actively doing it here. So let's let her eat and then sell the stuff. And then maybe we'll make her like jog somewhere. If she jogs for like five seconds, I'm thinking that she should get her career increase. Because she's literally like right there. Like... She should have gotten a promotion last time she worked, but this job is a jerk, so, you know. She sold all that stuff. She's gonna go jogging for, like, five- There we go! I knew it should happen relatively quickly. So, 
she's gotten all of that and with that and that weird glitch that we just saw in her spandex outfit i think i'm going to leave this episode here so very uneventful episode we moved though and she's preparing to go to france so next episode we are gonna head off to france for the second time and hopefully stay there longer and be able to explore more of the tombs than we did last time without having to rush through some stuff maybe we'll have time to kind of goof off maybe go to the nectary see some other sites and stuff to get her some more lifetime happy happiness rewards and probably make a friend there maybe we can make our second friend in France and have our friends overseas it doesn't hurt to have friends everywhere especially when you like to travel so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a like or don't that is up to you but I do hope you'll join me next time for more of the adventure sims challenge thanks guys bye bye